Good day, my name is Alessandro Sabatino. I was formerly a patient at R3 Stem Cell Research Clinic down in Tijuana, Mexico. And I would like to share with you my testimony of what was exactly going on with me uh, about six months ago uh, when I went down to receive my stem cell procedure. I was a patient um, here in the United States that needed a heart transplant. I wasn't healthy enough to have a bypass surgery that, that I was told I wouldn't survive it, that I would need a heart transplant. I was completely devastated. I had no hope. I knew nothing of anything about stem cells at that time. I started to investigate and I started to do research on my own on the computer and I came across R3 stem cell research clinics. And what they do offer is stem cell um, procedures uh, for whatever your ailments might be. Uh, what it is, is that stem cells are smart cells. Uh, they're new cells. Our cells, as we get older, start to break down. They don't do what they used to do. And that was all I really knew of stem cells. I made the phone call to their Arizona office and they told me because I live in San Diego area that they have a clinic down in Tijuana, Mexico. I was skeptical, but I was also someone that was desperate. So out of my desperation, I got educated. I got to see what this whole um, stem cell research uh, program is all about. I was actually greeted by a wonderful staff down there at the Tijuana Clinic. I was greeted by Alejandra. She was showing me around. I saw the office, it was clean. It was a beautiful layout, it was elegant. Totally put my mind at ease. I met doctors uh, Ivan, Francisco, Ramon. They gave me an education on stem cells because I did nothing but ask, ask a lot of questions and they were, uh, they were willing to answer all my questions. Long story short, I knew that if I was to be tested back in the United States, and they put me through a lot of testing, that that would be an indicator for me to know if the stem cell treatment worked or didn't work. About two months ago, and this is about five, six months after I received my stem cell treatment, the doctors in, indeed did a, an angiogram uh, uh, on me. They went through my arteries. They were prepared to put more stents in. They were prepared for the worse. And I kind of knew that when they started laying out all these stents and, and I had to sign paperwork. I was scared, but it was about a four hour uh, procedure that the doctors in the States did. And they looked at me at the end, they said, Mr. Sabatino, we found nothing. Your arteries are no longer clogged. Your heart is beating stronger. And that I was no longer a candidate for a heart transplant. Right there on that table as I laid there, I knew, I knew that it was the stem cells that had to have done this. The inflammation that is caused and within my arterial walls of, of all the clogging, the plaque, the stem cells went in there and handled that. I feel better. I, I'm pretty much preaching to people uh, about stem cells these days. Uh, the beautiful people down there, R3 uh, Clinic in uh, Tijuana, Mexico, they're my friends. They're like family. They're people I hold dear to my heart because I was truly someone that was hopeless, but now someone that's full of hope and I just want to let other people know that it's going to be okay. Take that. Take that opportunity to investigate. Make that phone call. Your life will change. I guarantee it. I have letters from the doctors in the United States. One letter says I wasn't healthy enough for a bypass. That I would have to be someone considered for a heart transplant. And then after the stem cells, six months later, I have a letter from the other doctors, the, uh, the actual heart transplant team. I received a letter after that, that angioplasty uh, procedure they did. And it says that Mr. Sabatino, 
uh, you are no longer uh, a candidate for a heart transplant. It said that I was too well, too well to receive such a, a invasive procedure. Stem cells is not an invasive procedure. There are no scalpels. I sat there, relaxed myself for about three hours in a nice chair with an IV hooked up to me. And that's when the stem cells were introduced into my body through my blood system. No, not evasive at all. So today, I just want to uh, encourage you. If you're contemplating whether or not to get stem cells, I'm going to be that guy that says, do it. You'll be happy that you did. Your family will be happy that you did. So I'll leave it on that note. The people down there at uh, Tijuana Clinic for R3 Stem Cells, they're there to help you. They are your friend. They are your hope. And they have a procedure called stem cells. And it's a very real thing. So God bless you. Take care. And I hope the best for you.